Good evening. Let's try that again. Good evening. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's, if you will, if there's anyone out in the foyer, come on in and take a seat. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm just going to walk over here. <laughs> so Brielle's excited that you guys are here, aren't you, darling? Tell them, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Not this time? She asked if you have music. Well, we're going to take care of that in just a little bit. We're going to do that quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Oh. My job's easy. I just got to stand here. All righty. Well, I hope everyone's had a great day. Have you had a good day? All right, good. Hopefully, you got a little bit of time to, to rest between the services. And that you're all energized and ready to lift your hands and clap your hands and praise and, and honor the Father. Uh, we want to begin with prayer. And, but well, actually, before I do that, let me just make a couple of quick announcements so you'll know what's going on. Of course, tonight, our brother Paul Wilbur and um, his associate, Mr. Brandon Roberson, are going to lead us in praise and worship tonight. And um, tomorrow morning... When we meet at 11, uh, Brandon and Melody will open up with praise and worship, but uh, our brother Paul is just going to come and share his heart with us. I don't know if he's going to sing some more or, or talk, speak or what. We're going to let you do what you want to do, but he is just going to share with us uh, what's on his heart right now. And uh, so we got after tonight, as exciting as tonight's going to be, uh, we still have tomorrow morning, so we want to encourage all of you who can to be with us tomorrow morning, and of course we want to continue to invite all of our friends that join us and family from uh, from out there on the live stream. And by the way, did, you, did I, I was distracted. Did you tell everybody to wave to all the live stream family this morning? Okay, I just want to make sure. I want to make sure you weren't falling down on the job. I guess we might need to get accustomed to her being on stage. So. We want to recognize some, somebody real special to us uh, who is with us tonight, and that is Miss Virgie, sitting up here on the front row, who has been, from the very beginning, has been uh, a prayer warrior on behalf of the clouds and Jacob's tent, and uh, she has uh, always been a great encouragement. So you heard us talk about Miss Virgie. Miss Virgie, just real quick, stand up and wave to everybody so they can see you, and so they can meet Miss Virgie. And I also, before I forget, I'm, uh, I also want to thank the staff at Jacob's Tent, yeah. Robert and Nayla and Laura and Heather and Jeremy and Carmen and Brandon and Melody, yeah, them too, uh, and, and just and all the volunteers that all all the volunteers that and people who really work very 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 hard to make this weekend possible. And so, will you just join me in thanking them? Now, let's all stand, let's go to the Father and, and ask his blessings on this evening. As we come to the end of Shabbat and starting another week, we're going to enter this week on the right footing. Praise and honor to our Father. Amen? Join with me in prayer. That's right. That's right. Tell them. Okay. Our Father in heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you, Father. We bless you for this day that you have set apart. We thank you, Father, for 
the people that you've assembled here, all the folks that we're meeting from all over the country, and for the testimonies that are coming forward. We thank you, Father, for this afternoon that we had and this, that sweet time that we had at, at the baptismal, the mikvah, and those people who, young and old, who wanted to make a profession and reaffirm their, their commitment to you. And I thank you, Father, that you have allowed Beth and me and everybody at Jacob's tent to be here this, this season, this time. I thank you for the relationships that are blossoming and those that are just beginning and, and how you are bringing more, in, more people into our lives and the gifts and the talents that come with them that we, as we assemble together, we can honor you, we can bless you, we can praise you, we can worship you. We don't take it lightly, and we never want to take it for granted. And so we thank you. We are grateful to you. Father, I pray that your spirit, your anointing, will be upon our brothers, Brother Paul, Brother Brandon, and that this, the the garment of praise would be upon all of your people tonight. And that what transpires this evening would arise and be a sweet savor unto you. And that everything would be pleasing in your sight. And that you would be honored and blessed. We thank you, Father. We bless you in Yeshua's name. And everyone said, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, our dear friend, Mr. Paul Wilbur, Brandon Roberson. Hmm. Tov, Umanaim Shevetachim Gam Yachad. Behold how good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together in unity. In fact, there's even a step beyond unity. It's called agreement. I get such a sense of agreement in this place today that we agree. We agree that God is good. We agree that all of his ways are true and just. We agree that Yeshua HaMashiach, Hu Adonai, Jesus the Messiah, he is Lord. And we agree. We agree that it's going to be a great time in his spirit tonight. Yes, we do. This is my friend, Brandon Roberson. He calls me dad. You can tell there's a family resemblance, can't you? And he is a, a wonderful worship leader and songwriter and in his own right. And I brought him here this weekend because I wanted y'all to get to know him. And um, he's... He's such a blessing. The, the gifts the Lord has deposited in him, I wanted to share with you under this tent. So Lord, tonight we offer up our praise to you. We give you thanksgiving. We lift our hearts and our heads, Lord, to see your face. Teach us your ways. And Elijah said to the people, why would you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, then worship him. But if these other things are your gods, then worship them. But it is time to make up your mind. Lord, we declare tonight, Yahweh, we have made up our mind. You alone are God. i 
against trying Let it be known today that you are God Yes, Lord, right here in Cleveland And we offer up our lives As a living sacrifice Come purify us with your holy fire Holy fire, you are the holy one Highly exalted one And we've got to tonight. Arise, O Lord, and scatter your enemies. Arise, O Lord, and push back the darkness. 
Let truth arise, oh yeah, let God arise.
Come on, give the Lord a good shout of praise tonight. His name is El Shaddai. He is almighty. His name is Adonai Tzvaot. He is the captain of the host of the armies of God. His name is El Elyon. He is Lord over all other lords. His name is above every other name, including cancer and heart disease. And whether others believe it or not, his name is above COVID. tempted to go there, but I, I won't. Yes. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach.
His name opens graves. His name opens blind eyes and deaf ears. His name causes the lame to dance. There are miracles in this tent tonight. His name binds up the brokenhearted and sets liberty those who have been captive. No matter how long, no matter how strong the locks and the bars, they melt at the sound of his voice. His name is Sar Shalom, he's Prince of Peace. And his name is, I own it all, his name is Adonai. Well, you are Lord over all the earth. You are 
Lord. There's none like you. None like you in all the earth. None like you. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. I heard this morning as we were worshiping and He said, every breath you take is numbered. He said, I not only know the numbers of the hairs on your head, and yes, that's getting easier. He said, I know the number of breaths that I have assigned to you. And then he said this. Don't waste any. I know the number of breaths that I have assigned to you. Everyone is a gift from my hands. Don't waste them by speaking things which are not true. Don't waste them by bearing false witness of who I am not. Mm. I think that was a period. Yeah. There's no more to say after that. You know, one of the commandments is, thou shalt not bear the name of the Lord your God in vain, or take it in vain. Actually, the Hebrew is bear it in vain. That when I open my mouth and say something that does not represent him well, I am bearing his name in vain. I'm saying to others, he's not who you thought he was. Ouch. Go ahead and have a seat for just a minute. You've been standing for a while. Hmm. Can I get to the key of C? It was about a year ago this time I couldn't sing, lost my voice. We had just come from remembering the, the, the feast of Purim. I don't have to explain it to you, you know. And the last few moments we were there at Auschwitz, we visited the incinerators, came home, the, the nations were closing, we got home to Jacksonville, Florida, just as the United States borders closed, and a new time came here in the United States and around the world. We had truly entered a new era. But it was distressing for me because Singing is my best way of communicating, of telling people how good the Lord is. I found my commission in the Word of God. You know, Jesus said it's written of me in the Word of God. We're all in there. You just have to find it. Many, many years ago, I had an encounter with him, and, and I was on staff at a large church, and for the first time in my life, I wasn't thinking about the paycheck next month. My family was well cared for. We had just built a beautiful new home for the extravagant price of $150,000. It was extravagant living. 
in Chicago. $150,000. I was living high on that kosher hog. I had a nice paycheck and I loved the church where we were and the people we were serving with and serving. And in a, a few moments in a revival service, I, I went out in the spirit somewhere. They finished the service without me, turned off the lights, everybody left. I had no clue of what was going on. It's the only time in my life that ever happened. But it happened because Jesus needed me to be quiet long enough to say something. I was one of those charismatics, you know, that you have to fill every space with something. And so he, he got me in a quiet place and he said, he said, son, how, how's things going? I said, Lord, you are so good. Got a new car in the driveway, got a driveway. I was 44 years old. It's my first driveway. And then he said something. He said, well, if you'd asked me, I would have given you the nations. I said, you really know how to hurt a guy. And I said, Lord, is it too late? I was 44. I, I figured all the trains had passed me. He never said another word. Finally came to myself, I got up off that floor. I dragged myself to my office, nice little office in the church building, 2,000 seat auditorium, wonderful people. Loved those people. I finally got to my desk, picked up the phone, called my wife at midnight. Turns out I found out that it took her a half an hour to get out of the parking lot. The Spirit of God was so heavy, she kept driving around and around in a parking lot that she had been in three, four times a week for years and couldn't find, couldn't find her way out. It has nothing to do with the color of her hair. I called her up, I said, sweetheart, we're going to the nations. Not another word. We packed our stuff. And since then, we've been in 75 nations. Many of them, many times, we sing and record on five or six languages. No, I don't speak them all. But it's been an amazing life. And singing was the way that I was able to communicate all my life, I wanted to be a cantor. I mean, a real cantor. You, you don't know of the cantors in the high Orthodox Jewish synagogues of Europe, East Europe, and Russia. The music is operatic. It's, it's elegant. Sometimes there's pipe organs and orchestras, and it's magnificent. But when I met Jesus, I became a real cantor. <laughs> Hear the voice of God and sing it over the people. So there we were in Auschwitz. We, we left, came home. When I opened my mouth and tried to sing, I sounded like a frog. And, and that's not a joke. Some of you saw the broadcast I was doing last year. Cried through a couple of them because I, I could hardly squeak out a sound. I went to the doctor, and they, they stuck a, a scope up my nose, down my throat, and said, sing something. I said, now I know why you call it a practice. You're practicing on me. And then they showed me the video afterwards, and the doctor said, Paul, your vocal cords are burned and blistered like they've been in a fire. And then I, then I understood our last few minutes at Auschwitz by those furnaces. And there was something of an association, can't explain it. We went into the library there where all the names of those who were 
destroyed. We went through the pages and found names of my parents, both sides, and my grandparents, and pages of some of them. But I knew who I was and what God had called me to do. I sat down with my guitar about a year ago now, opened my Bible, which is my best source of really good lyrics. <laughs> In fact, it's the only lyrics that there's a, prob there's a promise that when you speak them or declare them, that when you send them out, they accomplish what the one who wrote them, the purpose that he has in those words. And I've dedicated my life to singing those and those alone. So out of Psalm 103, and pardon me if I get a little emotional <clears throat> on this, added one small line the Psalm 103 that isn't there, but it's between the lines. And I would suggest tonight this, this one little line, I'll bet you can write, a, you can write your own. You'll, you'll recognize which one's not in the original text. Bless the Lord. <clears throat> Sorry, maybe, maybe we should do something else. This oh. always. That's all right. <clears throat> I'm singing tonight like I've never sung in the last year. Never. Nice and free and fun and There's freedom in here tonight. If there's something that is you just can't get off the front burner. Just cast it at his feet tonight. He's going to gather it up and carry it away. Take no care what you wear, what you eat. Take no care. Take no care, he said, because I care for you. All right. Try it again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let every breath return to you as praise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let every breath return to you as praise. For by the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. Surely you are my master and my friend. Higher than the heavens you have lifted me And I will sing uh, Again is the word that goes right there <clears throat> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul Let all that is within me bless his name Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, let every breath return to you as praise. By the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. 
Surely you are my Savior and my friend And higher than the heavens you have lifted me Yes, and I will sing again Bless the Lord I will bless the Lord all things I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I will bless you, Lord. And all times I will bless you, Lord. In all things I will bless you, Lord. Lift my voice and I'll bless you, Lord. You are good. And I will sing again And I will trust again I will love again I will hope again I will walk again Lord, I will hear again I will see again I will sing again I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord You are good to me You are so good to me like you, lion and the lamb, seated on his throne, mountains bow down, every ocean rose, to the Lord of hosts, come on and sing.
until the moment I close my eyes. I will bless the name of Adonai, King of all kings, Lord of all lords. to the Lord. Everything that has breath, give it voice. Let him know there is no one like our God. None like you, Lord. None like you. for your presence that is here for you are great you are holy you are worthy and we just lift up our voice in the presence of the Lord and just say you are holy Lord you are worthy there is none like you we honor your presence we thank you that your glory is here and that you are manifesting yourself in a new way we praise you Adonai you are worthy. Can we lift up our voice and just declare that he's worthy? Come on, can we just lift up our voice and just declare that he's holy, he's holy. Come on, can we lift up our voice and say, Lord, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. We honor your presence, Lord. We thank you that you are here in our midst. Come on, the word says, let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Can you shout hallelujah? Come on, can you shout hallelujah? We join in with the angels and we say, holy, holy. Are you Lord? We worship you, King of Kings. Oh, you Lord of all. Come on, the fragrance of worship, it's already here. Holy Spirit, we know that you are dwelling among us as we worship at your throne tonight, Lord.
there's healing in the room tonight. Lungs, be clear in Jesus' name. Freshness of the spring air carrying the smell of earth that is opening to bring life. I'm smelling fresh spring air. And I hear the sound of bones being put back together. Brokenness is finished and wholeness is come. Son of man, prophesy and say to these dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord.
declaring the word of the Lord. I hear the voice of Ezekiel prophesying to these dry bones. Live again, live again. Those who are sleeping, those in the grave, live again, live again. Those who are sleeping, those in the grave. Preparing for war And I can see Judah assembling Praise is their weapon of war Live again, live again Those who are sleeping, those in the grave Live again, live again Those who are sleeping
O Lord, and scatter your enemies. Arise, O Lord, and demonstrate your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. He says, you are my demonstration. So won't you arise? Won't you arise in the power of the spirit of the one who was raised? And won't you be my demonstration? Open wide your mouth, says the spirit of the Lord, and I will fill it. Hmm. For whatever is necessary for life and godliness, do you not understand I hold it? And I've said whatever is necessary, here it is. Here it is. It came when you said, I do. When you said, I do. All that I have is yours. When you said, I do. All that I am is yours. For did he not say, Father, may they be one. I'm in you, they're in me. We are one. Lord, I pray that you would fill the cups. Fill the cups to overflow. Oil, wine, living water. May the oil in your lamp never burn out. May the oil in your vessel never dry up. Lord, may we be for you a faithful family. loving and serving one another, proving that you are Lord. Even as Paul was just speaking a few moments ago, not only in the last couple of minutes, but even prior to that, I just heard an igniting in the spirit realm, an igniting, almost like a, a match that is, um, that God is just setting ablaze. For in a room like this, where many of us have not gathered uh, together, over the past year, I just sense such a strong weight of the supernatural that God wants to move divinely by his spirit as he already is. But when he was speaking earlier about the healing that took place in his body here over the past year, I just sense that there's freedom, there's freedom that's being released as we worship tonight. And God is igniting something fresh on the inside of the womb of our spirit. There's a new weight of glory that he's wanting to release in this gathering tonight. And it'll be something tangible that we're able to take away. The heavens are already open 
over this environment and over this region. And I believe that as we begin to open up our mouths tonight and as we glorify the Lord, even in a greater way, he said our cups would overflow. He would fill us. And indeed, there is a sound that is being released as we worship tonight. As we lift up our voice and we glorify the Lord, I hear that sound. That sound as we declared of the Lion of Judah that is roaring over this environment. And in that roar, there are miracles. In that roar, there are signs. In that roar, there are wonders. It won't be something that we just declare, but it will be something that we tangibly see. And I believe that tonight there is a fresh weight of God's glory that he is releasing over us and in that glory there is freedom in that glory as we declare depression has to leave in that glory we declare anxiety has to leave in that glory we declare that arthritis has to leave in that glory we declare that everything that does not line up with the kingdom it is being removed right now for where the enemy has tried to come into some of your lives year after year I sense it as we worship tonight the walls of Jericho they are coming down for there is is a sound there is a sound and there is a shout as the lion of judah begins to roar even stronger over this environment i hear it in the spirit there's a rumbling that's taken place in generational curses and things that have held many of you bound year after year you've carried weight after weight from year after year i hear the lord say the generational curse is broken tonight in the name of jesus you will no longer deal with the same things that have plagued your life and have plagued your family for where the spirit of the lord Lord is there is freedom and there is liberty so I just want to prophesy tonight that there is a fresh weight of God's glory and freedom and even as we just declare those dry bones some of you you haven't felt like you've been able to dream like you would like to dream I hear the Lord say that he's going to begin to visit some of you even in the night season and you're going to begin to write down and you're going to begin to dream and you're going to begin to see me in a new way says the Lord for there is a new realm of glory that I desire to take you through won't you begin to break out of your box tonight the box that many of you have put me into and God says as you begin to break out of this box you will see a new place in me for he says come on out into the deep and see the new realm of glory he says step outside of the boat and begin to see what it is that I desire to show you for deep calls unto deep tonight and God says I'm calling you closer I'm calling you closer and I'm calling you to ascend to the holy hill for there is a sound in Zion there is a sound that is being released from the heart of worshipers tonight and God says, I will meet you tonight in a fresh way. For there is a realm of glory that I desire to release. And God says, it's, it, it hasn't been seen in the earth before. But I have given you the keys, says the Lord tonight, to unlock a new dimension and a new realm in me. He says, taste and see that I am good. Taste and see the new place that I desire to take you to. For now is the time and now is the hour that I have called for your voice to arise. And I've heard this even over the past couple of weeks as God has been ministering he's been showing me things I see that there has been a muzzle that has been put over many prophetic voices in the earth and I'm here to decree and declare tonight that the muzzle is being broken off of your mouth the muzzle is being broken off of your spirit where the enemy has tried to keep many of us silent for he knows that when we realize the authority that we carry on the inside of our spirit and we begin to speak to the four winds the Lord knows and the enemy knows that things will begin to shake in the atmosphere so I decree and declare tonight that the muzzle that has been over the mouth of many of the prophetic voices and believers, it is being broken off. You will prophesy like you've never spoken before. You will dream and see like you have never seen before. For God says, now is the hour for I have called for you to arise with boldness. I have called for you to arise with boldness to declare my name to the ends of the earth. So we break the spirit of fear. We break the spirit of bondage. We break the spirit of lack. And we say you shall live again for the Lord says with long life you shall live to see my glory and salvation and when many of you have even came in tonight and I've heard some of you say well I may be too old for that or or I don't know how, how much is ahead of me God says your best days are ahead of you you are getting ready to see like you've never seen before for there is a fresh deposit that I am releasing now says the Lord Let God hey.
enemies be scattered And let the righteous be glad
gets better. You know, darkness, heaviness, depression hates the shouts of joy. Just, they can't stand the sound. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. Heaviness and, and all that stuff, just there's no air to breathe with the shout of joy. So I'm just, I'm tempted to just shout. shouting, I'm seeing rockets fall out of the sky over Tel Aviv and over Israel. As we are shouting, I'm seeing rockets fall out of the sky. There's a sound coming from the east. Mm. A voice of hope. Mm. 
and a sound that causes fear to be afraid. That same roar, that same roar from Joel chapter 3 that covers the people. Joel chapter 3. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. He said, I will thunder from Jerusalem, I will roar from Zion. That sound, that sound that pushes back darkness comforts the hearts of the people of God. In 1 Samuel chapter 7, they heard that sound again when from that same little piece of land, the Philistines continued to trouble Israel. And there came a sound, a roar, that same sha'ag. And my Bible says that when the Philistines heard that, they troubled Israel no more. There is a sound. Lion of Judah. Roar. Roar over your land. Roar over your people. Push back darkness, death. Save your people. Tonight, Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Prince of peace, roar from Jerusalem. Cover the houses and the land, protect and save, destroy the works of the enemy and chase them far away. Lord, we recognize that we do not wage war against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities wickedness, darkness, the sound of your voice breaks the bow. The sound of your voice breaks the teeth of the enemy. The sound of your voice causes confusion in their ranks. And they turn on one another, confused. Release the sound again. Tonight, over Bethlehem, over Tel Aviv, over Hebron, over Haifa, over Eilat, over Jerusalem, and Lord, break the power of the enemy over Gaza. Break the power of terror over the people of Gaza. Break the teeth of the avenger over the people of Gaza and set those Arab peoples free. Set them free. May they know the one who is the Prince of Peace. We pray, Lord, for our Arab brothers and sisters, our Jewish brothers and sisters who call on your name in righteousness. Cover them and keep them. 
spread your hand over them like a canopy. Blow with the breath of your nostrils. Break the chains, open prison doors, set captives free. And Lord, may you be seen and known, demonstrate again that you alone are God. These are the days of Elijah. These are the days of the announcing of the coming of the Holy One of Israel. These are the days of preparation. And you demonstrate, you reveal, you uncover mysteries. Lord, release from Jerusalem the sound again and set the captives free. Lord, tonight we declare that we love Arab peoples. We love Iranians. We love Iraqis. We love Syrians. We love Lebanese. We love Egyptians. We love Saudi Arabians. We love Palestinians. We love them. Lord, open the eyes of the blind. Break the chains of false religion, the captivity over the mind, Reveal the truth that sets the captives free. We long for the day when every knee bows, when every tongue declares, Yeshua HaMashiach Hu Adonai, Jesus the Messiah, He is Lord. Hinenu Abba, here we are. We've come to do your will. Glorify your name through us. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done. In Jesus' name. These are the days of Elijah. Becoming as flesh, and these 
These are the days of your servant, David, rebuilding a temple of praise. And these are the days of the harvest, the fields are wide in the Singing is fun. Singing is fun. We're going to do some more singing tomorrow morning. I'm going to have um, Brandon launch out into the deep a little more. He's, he's got his waders on tonight. I'm going to push him out a little bit further. You enjoy my friend Brandon Roberson? Anybody have any questions? I'm just kidding. Um, oh, the kids want to dance. It's over there. If you can find it, Brandon will find it, but you have to set it up. I'm not sure that I did. Yeah, okay, thank you, dear. That's my wife, Lou Ann. Are, are we okay, Rabbi? Are we? Did you want to sing something or? No? I want to. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear, 
Pastor Rabbi Elder Brother Bill. Happy birthday to you. The children want to sing something. I haven't done this in a long time. Actually, they want to dance. How many of you, I'm just curious, how many of you here tonight are under the age of 15? Let me see your hands. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. There's hope. I don't know what key this is in. I don't need to. Victory was found in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. Shouts of joy and victory was found in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us. The Lord's right hand went on high. The Lord's right hand went on Shouts of joy. Shouts of and victory was on the tents of the righteous of the Lord. Shouts of joy and victory was in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us. Lord's right hand has lifted high. Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us. The Lord's right hand brings on high. The Lord's right hand sing for joy. Sing for joy in the Lord, ye righteous ones. Sing for joy in the Lord, ye righteous ones. Sing to him a new, new song. Let your heart rejoice in him. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. Sing for joy in the Lord, ye righteous ones. Sing for joy in the Lord, ye righteous ones. Oh, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name with shouts of joy and victory resound. The righteous of the Lord Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tent The righteous of the Lord The Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us The Lord's right hand is lifted high The Lord's right hand has done mighty things for us The Lord's right hand reigns on high The Lord's right hand reigns on high Rony, Rony, Batio, Hadi, Israel, Sinkriyatsi, Kor, Bat Yerushalayim, Rejoice, 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 Daughter of Zion, Shout aloud, Israel, Sing, Rejoice with all your heart, O Jerusalem, for the Lord has taken your punishment. Destroy your enemies, King of Israel, Lord of all is he in the midst of us. He is mighty, rejoice, rejoice, daughter of Zion, shout aloud. Israel, sing, rejoice with all your heart, O Jerusalem. 
was 1995 and I almost remembered it came close came close first time I did that in Spanish was Bogota Colombia I met some new friends at breakfast this morning at the at the hotel turns out the wife is is from Bogota Colombia where I, I went with with pastor Benny Hinn we, we've got one more song. Um, yeah. don't, don't go away, kids. It's a dance song. I was going to say, maybe you could dance. Uh, there's, there's equipment and stuff. I'll probably get in trouble for that. But it wouldn't be the first time. So Benny Hinn's office called and said, can you sing in Spanish? This is 1996. And I said, um, sure. Good, I want you to come to Bogota, Colombia, and we're gonna, and we're gonna minister there. I thought, okay. And so I found someone, a friend who translated that song. Um, uh, shouts of joy. Hay grandos de jubilo y de salvación entre los gustos del Señor. Do we have any Hispanics in the house? Why didn't you say so in the first place? We should sing something in Spanish before you go. Brandon, you can do it. Okay. And so I went with him, this is the first time, and that, that song, Shouts of Joy, translated into Spanish, I was so nervous. I had never sung in Spanish before, I'm going over the lyrics over and over and over. So there I was in Bogota, Colombia with Benny Hinn and Pastor Castellanos, and there were 70,000 people. Then I wasn't intimidated, I was scared I threw those shorts away. <laughs> Bubba da boom. Yes. You guys just don't stop dancing, do you? Never. Never. They dance on injustice. So I'll, I'll make this quick, but don't don't stop dancing. And so. 
Pastor Benny introduced me as one of his best friends we had never met. We hadn't even shaken hands. We hadn't even said hello. I was a surprise from other people who knew me. So when he introduced me, I stand up in front of 70,000 people and they can see my knees shaking and I'm trying to remember the first words in Spanish and, and they welcome me with this polite applause. It's like, who is this guy? Shalom Jerusalem had been out for about a year. Little did I know it was all over America Latina. My Hispanic brothers and sisters love this messianic stuff. And so I'm standing up there waiting for the music to start. This, this tense quiet. All of a sudden the music starts. And the people went, whoa! That guy! And, the, and I'm supposed to start singing in Spanish. They drown me out in English. They had never heard it in Spanish. And we became hard for everything that I've done since then has to be in Spanish because there is, there is a heart that beats for Jerusalem in our Hispanic brothers and sisters. For the presence of the Lord, for the word of the Lord, such a loving people. Look at these guys. They're just, we better do something. All right, I'm, I'm through talking. Here we go. Hit it, maestro. One, Yeah. 
you fanatics we need to leave you a little gas for tomorrow how many of you are going to be with us in the morning I love it we start at 11 sharp ish 11 sharp ish because this is a what I come back swan I almost forgot. Thank you. We had a special request from the birthday boy. Can I say that? Respectfully. Birthday boy. I guess when you're 70, you get away with saying a lot of things, don't you? In 10 years, when I get there, I'll let you know. Okay. We had a special request for another song I haven't sung in two decades. <laughs> but this is the theme of our weekend together. He's calling us to come up to the mountain where there is water for all, where there is revelation, where there is relationship where there is covenant, 
where there is the kind of fear that sets the captives free. Hallelujah, the fear of the Lord. Look at that. The, the clouds are clearing. The snow is falling. Listen, <laughs> looks like snow to me. And they said, come and let's go up to the mountain of the Lord. He will teach us his ways. And then we will walk in them. Hey, kids, this is another good dance song, by the way. <clears throat> Water, let me get... That rain made me thirsty. My, my wife is such a good laugher. She snorts. <laughs> I'd have her demonstrate it for you, but... We just celebrated our 43rd anniversary. It's been rough. It's been good. For her. <laughs> we love I, you. I wrote a, a news. Oh, were you going to say something? I was just saying, we love you, Mom. We love you. <laughs> we she do. She has to deal with a lot. We're praying. <laughs> she's, she's such a woman of faith. I rescued her from Presbyterianism. I won't say that. No. No. <laughs> so we, we got some not so good news a couple weeks ago. So what? So I, I'm trying to keep it to myself and just, you know, shield her from some not so good news. But I, I couldn't help myself <laughs> because misery loves company. So, um, so I came home and I said, wah, 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 wah. tell you the truth. She went into the bathroom where the voices sound really good, you know, with all the tile and stuff. And she just started to laugh. She did. It started like, ha, 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 ha. And then she really got it. And I was, in the, I was in the living room feeling sorry for myself until I heard the <laughs> And it's amazing how good bad news can sound when you just, he sits in the heavens and laughs. And it's either true that all things work together for our good or it's not. So we just choose to believe that this is working for us. It may not feel good at the time, it may not sound good at the time, but let every man be a liar and God be true. It's just recommended therapy. <clears throat> you can save a lot of money on psychologists. Sorry, sweetheart, my family I met this morning at breakfast, she's a psychologist. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. So now that I'm well watered, I drank it all. Oh, there it goes. Come, come, let's go up to the mountain of the Lord. Oh, crank it up. will be flowing to Zion when they see the house of the Lord run into his peaceful kingdom shouting they lay down their swords and they say come let's go up to the mountain come let's go up to the Lord come let's 
let's go up to the mountain, he will teach us his ways. Come, let's go up to the mountain, come, let's go up to the Lord. Come, let's go up to the mountain, he will teach us his ways. Second verse. Watch us with the spirit of burning. Let your beautiful fruit shine forth. Then everyone who's left in Cleveland will be called holy forevermore. Come, let's go up to the mountain. Come, let's go up to the Lord. Come, let's go up to the mountain. He will teach us his ways. Come, let's go up to the mountain. Come, let's go up to the Lord. Come, let's go up to the mountain. He will teach us his ways. And shake the earth so mightily Send your glory all across the land Then everything that's proud and lofty Will bow down before the Son of Man Come, let's go up to the mountain Come, let's go up to the Lord Come, let's go up to the mountain He will teach us His ways Come, let's go up to the mountain Smoke all through the day, flaming fire all through the night. Tabernacle for the shade, shelter from the pouring rain. When the Lord has washed away, built up the daughters of Zion. Just with the spirit of burning, let your beautiful fruit shine forth. Then everyone who's left in Cleveland will be called holy forever. Thank you. Amen. Happy birthday. Thank you. I wish I could dance like that. It used to be better. It used to be better. <laughs> Can we just thank our brother, Paul and Brandon? He poured his heart out tonight. I, 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 
I just really appreciate that. I know that we have all been blessed. Have you not? Yeah. Let us do this um, before we go. Melody? Is Melody available? Is she with the baby? Or is Brandon... Can I be, really push it? Or is Brandon, come on, Brandon. If, if Melody's not with the baby, I want y'all to come up here and I want you to sing the blessing over us as we go. Father, thank you. Thank you for loving us enough to invite us to come up to you to your mountain, to assemble before you. I thank you for these people that have gathered here tonight. I thank you for what you've spoken to my heart tonight. Thank you for what you're doing in the hearts and lives of your people. As we continue to assemble in your name, we pray that you will continue to have your way, that you'll speak to us, that you'll move in us, and that you'll perform your will for us and through us. In Yeshua's name. If you'll just remain standing. Brandon's going to sing the blessing over us. As it was told to us earlier in the morning at 11 ish, right? Sharp ish, okay, sharp ish, okay. So go in peace, be blessed, be safe, get some rest, and we'll see you in the morning. Shavuotov.